Okay, so I figured the easiest way to explain what a living trust is, is through an illustration. Here's you. And let's say you own a home, and you have a bank account, and let's say that you have a life insurance policy, and you've named your minor children as the beneficiaries in the life insurance policy. After you've passed away, the only way to transfer title of this house from your name into whoever's getting the house is for your family to go through probate. The only way for your family to get access to this money, if there's, say, more than $25,000 in there, is through probate. And if you have minor children who are receiving a substantial life insurance policy, and you haven't spelled out when they get it, who's in charge, things like that, you're going to have some issues. So here's what you do. You set up a trust. I'll call this the XYZ trust. And you make the trust the owner of the house. You make the trust the owner of the bank account. And you make the trust the beneficiary of the life insurance policy. And then in the trust, you spell out what happens with the house, what happens with the money, and what happens with the, with the proceeds from the life insurance policy. You do that, you can avoid probate, and you'll likely have less contention and tension in the family after you've passed away. So if you feel like you need a trust, which you likely do, give me a call, come in, we'll sit down, we'll talk about your unique situation, and I'll help you out. Thanks.